keep it simple. A simple life is a beautiful life. Hello, this is a very very uh, unique plant, it's called Albuca Corkscrew. Basically the leaf will grow and it will look like a screwdriver. Now this is how it looks like. What happened is it grew quite long, it grew quite long and I have uh, cut it down because uh, it was really long so I decided to cut it down. And this is how it looks like. I will put a photo later and show you the uh, potential growth of this albuca corkscrew. Now, now uh, why today I do this video is I want to show you that even after you cut off the leaf so called, uh, it will go back for you. It will go back for you as example like this. Yeah, so this is one of it. Let me pull up the camera a bit. And it's gone this long. Okay. The codex or the root itself will look like this. It's very similar to Humilis and some other codex that you have. So Albuca is like this. Now the reason of this video as I mentioned yes to show you this albuca corkscrew but then uh, more importantly I want to show you the transparent flower pot that I have right here and why I like to use it. Can you see this root? This is the root growth of the plant. really like using this pot here uh, caring for this plant wasn't difficult so less watering and when the soil is completely dry uh, I'll water it from the side so at the side is where I pour the water in uh, sometimes uh, if I have a pot of water I will soak it from the bottom of the water I'll start from here and let it soak up to here. As you can see, uh, the roots are growing well. Yeah, hopefully soon it will come out from the drainage hole. So it's growing well. Uh, the the roots show you the um, health of the plant. Therefore, uh, don't over water it. Rule of thumb is make sure your soil is completely dry. Then you water and don't worry. If you have not watered it for three weeks or have forgotten, I'm very busy in my schedule, I've got a lot of plans. So don't worry about it. They, they are from the uh, desert plant, so you know, less watering uh, actually benefits them more than overwatering, obviously. So this is the bigger ones, and I want to show you the root growth as well. So from this transparent pot, I can see the root growth and I like looking at it and therefore uh, this pot has given me a lot of <laughs> motivation as well because <laughs> oh wow there comes the root this is how I enjoy and I chose to use this transparent pot yeah. I'm a very curious person so I like seeing what's going on inside if I'm a worm, I'll definitely be inside checking out the soil and the roots. Now, as you can see, it's going so well. Yeah. So Albuca Corkscrew Care is very simple. Less watering and show you water when the uh, soil is completely dry. And with Malaysia's moist, Malaysia humidity, it takes longer time for the soil to dry. So make sure to always find the correct flower pot yeah always make sure they have good drainage hole also ensuring next step is your soil yeah ensure your soil has good drainage uh, as in using grit in between a lot of people ask what is grit so you know you have perlite you have permis you have red lava uh, you have uh, what my fun those are grit that will ensure good drainage to your soil uh, in between your peat moss and your vermiculite 
and uh, any other soil that you're using so make sure first drainage hole is important and using the correct soil and not forgetting your maintenance a lot of people will forget about maintaining their plant as in uh, watering them with fungicide uh, with insecticide you know those things because as I mentioned Malaysia is so humid and hot and therefore insect tends to infest into your soil uh, just in a second you know and you see crawling uh, insects fungi growing so therefore it is important that you use all this uh, fungicide and all this insecticide uh, for your watering so that's about it today if you have any questions uh, feel free to drop me a message on my youtube chat box bye bye